Welcome back, viewers. In the last video, we learned how to install React Native and start a new project. Today, let's dive into some basic components. Today, we are learning about view, text, image, input text field, button, etc. We can remove all the default code in the app.js page of the project we created and start from scratch. Export default function app. In React Native, export default function app is a code snippet that defines the main component of your application. This component represents the root of your app and is typically responsible for rendering other components and managing the overall application state. Export default is used to export the following function or component as the default export. Function app is a function component named app. Inside the app function, you would typically define the JSX, JavaScript XML, markup that describes how your application should be rendered. JSX is a syntax extension for JavaScript that allows you to write HTML-like code within your JavaScript files. Now let's create a view component. It is necessary to import the view component by using the following statement. Import view from React Native. In React Native, view is a built-in component that acts as a container or wrapper for other components. It is similar to a div element in HTML. View is a fundamental component used to structure the layout and hierarchy of UI components in a React Native application. View is a generic container that doesn't have any visual representation itself. It serves as a logical grouping element for other components. You can think of a view as a box that can contain other UI components, such as text elements, images, buttons, or even nested view components. View is often used to create layout structures, such as rows or columns, by applying styles or using additional layout components like Flexbox or Grid. Here, view is used as the main container. Now let's add a text component. You can provide the text to be displayed inside this component. It is necessary to import the text component by using the following statement, import text from React Native. Now we can start the server by running the command npm start. You can run the app on any simulator. Pressing I will run it on iOS, and pressing F will run it on Android. Currently, the text is displayed, but we can't really see it. We can make the display visible by using styles. Let's start by showing how to include styles inline. Style equals padding top 50. After saving, the text will move down. You can also apply horizontal padding using style equals padding horizontal 20. It will move the text horizontally. We can create styles as a separate part by using a style sheet module. First, import style sheet by adding import style sheet from React Native. Within the curly braces, you can define reusable styles. App container. Padding vertical. Padding horizontal. Then, create a variable to hold the style sheet. Const styles equals stylesheet.create.
Now you can use this style by calling it as styles.appcontainer. Now, let's put a view inside and change the text inside it. You can have multiple views within one view. In React Native Styles, Flex, 1, is a style property commonly used to control the Flexbox behavior of a component. It is similar to the Flex, 1, property in CSS. When you set Flex, one on a component, it instructs the component to expand and fill the available space within its parent container. This is particularly useful when working with layout structures that involve Flexbox. Let's understand what Flex is. You can add a view inside it and add a flex, one style with a value of one and a background color of red. After saving, it will take up the entire page. For the next view, you can also give it a flex, one style and change the background color. When saved, it will be divided into two equal parts. If you change the lower flex to two, the second part will take up two portions of the available space, and the upper part will take up one portion. Similarly, you can allocate more space by increasing the number. Now, I think you understand what flex is. We will learn more about using flex in the upcoming videos. The second view can be removed. We can center align the contents within this. We can center align the contents within this. Add align items, center, as a style. Since we want to reuse this, we can put it inside the style sheet. Give it a name, such as, first container. Copy this and create another view. To create a gap between them, you can give a padding of 10. Now, let's write a style to change the text font. 
create a new style called text style with properties like font weight, bold, and font size, 24. Apply the style to the text component as style equals styles.text style. Now, let's add an image component. Now, let's add an image component. Add the source prop to the image component, example, source equals, require, dot slash assets slash images slash image dot png. Make sure to provide the correct relative path to the image. You need to import the image component by using the following statement. Import image uh, from React Native. After saving, you should see the image. You can apply additional styles if desired. Next, let's add a text input field. Import the text input component. Give it a placeholder value using the placeholder prop. Create a style for the text input component, example, style equals styles.input. Define the style properties within the style object, such as width, 300, height, 50. Border width, 1, border color, gray. Padding horizontal, 10.
Now, apply the style to the text input component. You can also create a style for the space above the text input, example margin top, 10. Include this style in an array along with other styles, Example, style equals, styles.input, styles.space. Now, the space above the text input is applied. Finally, let's add a button. Import the button component. Use the title prop to specify the text displayed on the button, example title equals login. Add a new view and include an activity indicator component inside it. This component is a spinner commonly used in projects. Customize its appearance using props like size and color. If you want to enable scrolling, you can wrap the content using the scroll view component. We will learn about more components in upcoming videos. Thank you for watching.